Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica with our Daily Energy and Advice reading. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, we're just going to jump in here. My voice isn't great. <laughs> I tried going into the office today and it nearly wiped me out. So we're just going to get through it. Um, so let's see, what's the influence of the past on our current situation? So we have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is an energy of Oh, well, conflict, tension, uh, bitterness, you know, it's, uh, could be dealing with, um, just impossible people or bullies, people who are intentionally being mean, okay, or people who just want to have the last say, no matter what the cost, okay, it's that type of energy, okay. Influencing today's energy, which is the tower, interesting. Um, there's some sort of a big, I feel like passive aggressive tendencies may turn into a full blown conflict today, okay? Um, let's see the next, uh, we have the Queen of Cups in the energy of tomorrow. What's going to follow this? What, what's the outcome to this as it were? Such beautiful cards, guys. And with the Queen of Cups, this is an energy of healing, forgiveness, nurturing, uh, being open, being receptive, being kind. So what this feels like, do you know what this feels like? It feels like clearing the air. It feels like something that was left unsaid after tension or conflict, okay? And it kind of just was left at that, okay? Um, with the tower here, there might be some sort of unexpected revelation. It can turn into the blame game. It can turn into rehashing the past, which is why I think we have the Queen of Cups following it, reminding us, you know, is that really going to help the situation? Uh, we have an opportunity to heal something and put it behind us, as opposed to continuing to rehash and relive it, okay? Especially since it was something that didn't really matter at the end of the day with the Five of Swords. It's something small. It's something insignificant. But what, for whatever reason, egos got triggered, um, and it just kind of went off the rails. It feels it feels like that type of energy where you know someone's angry, and or they have a lot of tension building up, or they're under a lot of pressure, or they're under a lot of stress, and they just snap on someone who does not have anything to do with the situation. But because of what they say and the fact that they're so mean. It's almost like, well, how do I go back from that? How do I even show my face again and apologize to this person? Because I feel like it's it's gone too far. I, I, I just have to leave it alone. You know what I mean? But it looks like with the tower, someone has been trying to leave this alone. Someone has been trying to just leave things unsaid and just forget about things and pretend it didn't happen. But that just continued to build the tension. It just continued to um, add stress. Um, and so we may be looking at someone, it could be us or it could be someone in our environment, coming in to clear the air, hoping for forgiveness, okay? Um, everything's still very much up in the air. They have no idea how we're going to react or you're, you're going to react or whatever. Um, but the hope is for forgiveness and healing, okay? So keep that in mind if you're dealing with these types of situations. And if this isn't something like from way back past when um, and it's more recent or it's an energy that's unfolding today and in a matter of a few minutes, you know what I mean? Um, again, the reminder here, the, the advice should we choose to take it is to focus on healing, forgiveness and healing if at all possible. Okay, it's not saying to let someone take things out on you. It's not saying to excuse anyone's bad behavior. It's saying to acknowledge that but to move past it, okay? Not to get stuck there. Our oracle energy. So we have Nadir, the light at the end of the tunnel, and we have time. Yeah, look, someone's reaching out. Someone's reaching out. Some time has passed. There has been no communication because like I said, it feels like it's gone too far. What am I gonna say now? You know what I mean? I can't take back what I said. They're never gonna forgive me. And they just try to leave you alone. Right? In their mind, they're trying to be respectful because it's like after everything I said or after what I did, they're never going to forgive me. That I shouldn't even, I don't even get the right to ask for forgiveness. Okay, someone's been really, really hard on themselves. Um, 
So when they come up, when they speak up, they're already feeling very, very frazzled. They're already kind of hating on themselves, for lack of a better phrase, which is why we're being encouraged, if possible, to look at the situation with kindness, with forgiveness, with love for ourselves, the other person, our fellow man, whatever the situation is, okay? Because we have an opportunity to heal something, whether it's healing and then we can kind of pick back up where we left off, or it's healing and we can develop a new type of relationship, or it's healing and you at least have the closure and you can go your separate ways, but there's no more of this tension, there's no more of this bitterness, there's no more of this it feels like something that you're just, it's just a hang up, right? It just holds you back from from manifesting things because emotionally you're not healed because of this. This has created a, a black hole in your heart and it's, it's showing in your ability or inability to manifest, okay? And you've been trying to manifest healing in your life, which is why this situation is brought back up because it needs to be healed as well in order for you to then be able to overcome it and manifest new things, if that makes sense, okay? So I'll leave that here. Let me know what this is for you, but I hope the reading helps. Um, happy birthday if your birthday's on the 22nd of March. I'll do the birthday post on Instagram. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.